probably heard of dog shows, but believe it or not, cat shows are clawing their way into our consciousness. It's a real thing. And now there's a new documentary showcasing this lesser known event. Joining us now is Kim Langell and the super poised, perfectly ready to take the title, <laughs> Bobby, resting so beautifully. Look who's in love with the spotlight. Just sprawled. He knows he's a celebrity. He knows he's a celebrity. <laughs> First of all, congratulations. This is amazing. Thank you. We hear a lot about, you know, documentaries and there's been satires based on dog show competitions, not so much cat shows. So how does that flush out and how do you know your cat was poised for this sort of thing? He he came to me this way. Yeah. He just knew we, as soon as I took him to his first show, I knew that okay, this is a this is the once in a lifetime show cat. He he does well and he likes it. So what does that mean? He does well. What are the traits or the, char the characteristics you need? So every breed, he's a Turkish Angora. Yeah. Hi. So cute. <laughs> every breed has a breed standard. What shape their head's supposed to be, how big their eyes are, how big their ears are, how their bodies put together. And um, you need your cat to meet breed standard. The closer, to you, closer you are to standard, the closer you are to perfection, the better you do. But you said there are also other subcategories, right? For all types of domestic right. cats. Right. So there's, he's a pedigreed cat. That you can, I competed him in kitten class, in championship class when he was still able to make babies, <laughs> and now he's an alter. He's been neutered. So those are the three championship classes, and there's also household pet class, which is awesome. The cat associations are very inclusive. If you have a household pet that you got at the SPCA, and it has three legs, one eye, and no tail, we still think it's awesome, and we want you to bring it out to a cat show. I love it. So what is a day look like? like when competing with Bobby? When you show up at the show hall, you take him, you set up his cage where he's going to spend most of his day, and you watch for his number to show up in a judging ring. And once it's up in a judging ring, you um, carry him up to the judge's cage, and the judge takes over, inspects him, and <laughs> decides where he's going to be in the entire thing, and then you take him back to his own cage. And at the end of filming all this, I imagine it was quite extensive and exhausting to have cameras follow you for, was it a year? Uh, seven or eight months, I think. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. What did it feel like to see the whole thing put together and watch it back? I, I was laughing and I was crying all at the <laughs> same time. I, they did us very proud. I was worried we were going to come off like a bunch of lunatics, but I don't feel we did. <laughs> no, apparently it does. It makes you cry. It makes you laugh. It, yeah. it shows like the love that you have, the passion that you have, and yeah. celebrating these beautiful felines. Exactly. Thank you so much for sharing Bobby. I feel like he's perfectly content. Hate to steer him away from the television, but, uh, you know, <laughs> make sure you check him out. It's called Catwalk, Tales from the Show Circuit. It'll screen at Toronto's Hot Docs, Ted Rogers Cinema from March 23rd to the 29th. For more information, breakfasttelevision.ca, and you guys can actually meet Bobby. You can meet Bobby. We're going to be at the Canadian Pet Expo at the International Centre in Mississauga on Easter weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday of Easter weekend. <laughs> he's going to be there to meet and greet, and he's going to be a pet me cat, so you can actually put your hands on him at that point. Are we boring you, Bobby? Are we boring you? <laughs> Look, we're going to drive all the other cats. Oh, I'm doing <laughs> Over to you, Mel. Oh, my gosh. So cute. Look at this little 